I never, I, my father Adam committed a sin. I never committed it, but I'm born with it. Yeah, you're born with the sin, yeah. Is that just? Not to be rude or disrespectful, are you saying it's just just because you're a Christian? Or do you, he is or do, or, or do you? We are bearing the sins, we are bearing the bodies, we are bearing all the bodies, the sins of our fathers and the family. It's like it's been conveyed, it's uh -huh. been translated. Do you, know the chap, do you know the book of Ezekiel? Ezekiel. Ezekiel says that the father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, Sorry. and the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. But Christianity is built on the concept that our father Adam committed a sin and now all of us, we, we bear this sin. Six, yeah. I'm a Muslim, as you can see. But I'm, I would say this is unjust. Oh, really? The, 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 I'm depending on Jesus, I'm, I'm a sinner. No, no, but we're talking about Adam first. Yeah. The, but, you, but, yeah, but you have a sin from Adam, which you never committed. Yeah. And then when you, when you, for example, even, so I would say that's unjust. But the next stage, I commit sins, you commit sins. But to say that God, who is merciful and forgiving and kind and loving, will not forgive us yeah. unless an innocent person carries our sins. This is also the unjust. Price. This the is price. also unjust. Really? Is that what you think? Like, can, can, I, can I not turn to God and say, O oh Lord, O oh God, O oh most merciful, O oh most kind, I have done wrong, forgive me, and he forgives me. I think like you want to overlook the price then. I will say, I will say... Not the price, but this is not, this is not a fair price. Jesus, he was innocent. He, he didn't commit my sin. He didn't commit your sin. But now we're saying all of the sins of mankind, he has to carry them. But all, all these things used to be a fact. Even in the time of Abraham, I think God yeah, yeah. told Abraham to bring um, a Haifa, a she goat, and a pigeon, turtle dove. Oh, Moses. Three years, five Le animals of three, Leviticus, yeah. Of three, three years old, because all those things were being done to sacrifice at the door yeah. of the tabernacle before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. get into the Holy of Holies. The Holy uh -huh. of Holies, you have to be. You have to be someone who is a, a Levite yeah, priest. Levite priest, someone yeah. like uh, a high priest to get yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You cannot get in there if you're not. Maybe yeah, yeah, you yeah. fall and collapse or something. Uh -huh. So, I think I think it's like it's like a veil. Uh -huh. Jesus was like a veil, like a holy veil. Uh -huh. Well, let's say humans, all the high priest, all the sacrifices yeah. that we had here, he couldn't yeah. really. Could not convince God but except are, are, are you going to are you going to compare a sacrifice of an animal yeah. to a human sacrifice? No, Jesus sacrifice but you are. was a great sacrifice. But you are, but you, I was saying but that God was trying to bring out something, uh -huh. elicit something out of that, elicit something. It was bringing us towards Jesus. Uh -huh. Even back, back in the book of uh, Isaiah, I think Isaiah uh -huh. is something. You talk about the coming of Christ, the coming of the Son. Well, they call it the Isaiah 53. Yeah, the prof Isaiah the, 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 about, the suffering uh, servant. He prophesied about the coming of Christ the, and Messiah. Uh -huh. the, pr the problem is, I will tell you, if you if you believe in uh, Christianity yeah. and you believe that Jesus died for your sins, and then you go and read the Old Testament, yeah. you will find it. Yeah. But a person who reads the Old Testament without being aware of Christianity, he won't notice it. Yeah. If I, if I give you a very brief example, according to the the gospel, according to Matthew, uh, chapter two, verse fifteen, there's a story in the gospel of Matthew which is not mentioned in the other three gospels. Really? Yeah. You can you can check. It mentions that when Jesus was born. I mean, as Muslims, we believe in Jesus. Yeah. We believe he came from the Virgin Mary. Yeah. But we don't believe in someone called Joseph. But anyway, but Jesus was born of a, uh, from a virgin as a sign of God's greatness. But according to the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 2, it says that Herod, who was the king at the time, or the, the, the ruler over Jerusalem at the time, he had heard about a child who would be born, who would bring about his demise, his destruction. So Herod 
he said that all of the children born, the young boys of Bethlehem, they should be killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the Gospel of Matthew says that Joseph and Mary, they took Jesus to Egypt. And then Matthew says, when they returned after the death of Jesus, Matthew says, out of Egypt I will call my son. And this was prophesying, he said this is prophesied, or this is in order to fulfill what has been written. So Matthew, or the, the person who wrote Matthew, the Gospel according to Matthew, he took this from the Old Testament and made it into a prophecy concerning Jesus. Okay. The problem is, if you go back to the Old Testament, if you go back to Hosea, okay. chapter 11, yeah. verse 1, yeah. and continuing, it mentions that Israel is my son. Yeah, yeah. And that Moses brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. Yeah. And then it says, after coming out of Egypt, Israel began to worship false gods. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the point is, Hosea is talking about the son of God, the children of Israel, yeah. the descendants of Jacob. Yeah. Coming out of Egypt, when Moses took them out from under Pharaoh, yeah. out of slavery and brought them out. Yeah. And then how they repaid him was they began to worship uh, Baal and etc, yeah. etc. Yeah. But Matthew takes this verse and says it's a prophecy about Jesus. Uh, but it's not. I just have to read through it again. So, so the point, my point being is, you see yeah. things in the Old Testament, or oh, sorry, you see things in the New Testament, which Christians interpret to be about Jesus. But really it's because the authors of the New Testament are taking from the Old Testament whatever suits their belief and their arguments. But it's not like, before I read the Bible, I always pray because like, the Bible is like a complex book, just like the Quran is a books. complex book. Yeah, yeah. The more you read it, the more God reveals to you. If you there are people that are deep readers, like they're more profound readers. Uh -huh. Like you, there's a lot that you know, as they call them scribes. Mm. Scribes are people that are more inclined, they, they have a special understanding of yeah. these things. So that's what I'm saying, the more you read it and you pray, yeah. God will break the bread for you, we call it uh, Christian, yeah, yeah, break yeah. it. It will uh. give you an understanding of what mm. you have to do your vision, because the Bible has got different visions. There are visions, like for instance, we have Samaria. Samaria is a place where, like, just, just like it's equivalent to Moab in the Old Testament, it was a sinful place. And God despised, but God had to. to, to, to so Samaria, Samaria to was was in the northern the Samaritan, kingdom. Samaritan, that's why Jesus met the woman at the well. No, Samaritan. Samaria was in was in the, was one of the northern kingdoms. When yeah. when the yeah when the Babylonians was it the Babylon yeah when they conquered yeah. the northern kingdom yeah and then they took the the ten tribes yeah. into yeah. captivity. captivity. Then the Samarians, they say, were placed there in a place called Samaria, yeah. but. That aside, I, I, I can see your tide, but the thing is, when we say the Bible, you know the Bible means a collection of books. Yeah. According to Vision. the Protestant, yeah. it's 66 books. Just like purpose, that's what yeah. say. Yeah. Purpose, it's, like but, purpose. but it's separate books. Yeah. So 66 books yeah. for the Church of England, Protestant. Yeah. The Roman Catholic, 73. Yeah. Some other churches, 80. Yeah. Uh, Ethiopian Orthodox is more. Yeah. The problem is, in order to for a book to be have authority, yeah. in terms of matters of the unseen, as what, who is God, what God wants from us, what happens when we turn back to God, yeah. there's certain criteria it needs to meet. Yeah. We should know that the book is from God. Yes. We should know. It's not by our strength that yeah, we have an yeah. We should know the book is from God. God. We should know yeah. that the book goes back to the person who was the messenger it was given to. Yeah. And we should know that that book has reached us in that condition. Yeah. So we should know the book is from God. We should know who received the book. Yeah. And we should know that that book has reached us. Yeah. As you know, I'm a Muslim. But I'm, I'm going, to make, I'm going okay. to make an argument. Um, I'm going to make a claim or a, a point. Yeah. That the Bible itself, you cannot do that. Like for example, the first five books of the Bible, yeah. you know, the Torah, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and uh, Deuteronomy. Yeah, the these, these five books, they're always attributed to Moses. Yeah. 
if you read the five books, you will not. Joshua. You will not find. You will, well, the, they they say some people say the last chapters of Deuteronomy were written by yeah, yeah. Adam, Joshua. Abraham, yeah. Adam, Abraham, Moses. But, but when you look in the books, Jacob, yeah. you will see in the books where Moses was commanded to write down the law. Yeah. But you don't find that Moses saying or the books saying that these five books have been written by Moses. You don't find that they're, they're always written in the third person. Yeah. Like Moses went here, Moses spoke to God. You'll never find I went here, I done this, God said this to me. It's always talking about Moses. But uh, I can, we can go through all the books, but the biblical scholars like... Moses, Moses was like the Old Testament pastor of Israel, like yes. emancipated Israel. Uh -huh. No, we Jacob, believe this. Jacob was yeah. like to set the foundation. Uh -huh. Jacob, God used Jacob to set the foundation yes, of yes. Israel, the stone. Uh -huh. Because Israel were like people who were scattered everywhere. So God was uh -huh. trying to get Israel to worship him. Yeah. Israel. There are uh, rebellious Israel, people. In the trend, Israel yeah. is the last. I wouldn't I would boast about it. Israel uh -huh. is the last in the trend. We have the Levites. We have. Uh -huh. the well, the Israel Levites are, are from the Israelites. That's why yeah. Jesus said, I came, I came for the lost sheep. Of Israel. The, people of the house been, of Israel. Been, um, I could say outcasts, the people that are ostracized, uh -huh. ostracized. So God was trying to like relate to the people. Uh -huh. He was looking for like a vessel. Yeah. And God could relate to their true visions. As uh -huh. I talk of Samaria, Shechem, Shiloh, all those uh, But, but, but my, my yeah. point is, yeah. my, there's some things we agree on, some things we differ. But my yeah. point is that these five books, yeah. These five books are obviously coming in the beginning of creation, about yeah. Moses, about Abraham, yeah. Isaac, Ismail, Jacob, the 12 tribes, Ishmael, yeah, the law of Moses, etc. It covers, this is what is covered, yeah. up until when Moses dies, and then Joshua is when they conquer the promised yeah. land. These five books themselves, biblical scholars will say, that these books were written long after Moses. Moses. Yeah. yeah, they were not written by Moses. Moses. Yeah. And there's so many, for example, Deuteronomy 34, yeah, yeah, it talks yeah. about the death of Moses yeah. and the burial of Moses. Obviously, yeah, Moses yeah. never wrote this. Moses never wrote it. Yeah. Even in the judges, the same, yeah. when they were taking the, his, his body up to, for, yeah. to glory, and yeah. then, then yeah. Satan came to seize his body or yeah. in judges. Right? No, Moses never wrote it. If you, if you go... Paul, I, Apostle Paul was a bit of scribe. Right? Was a scribe uh, we'll scribe. come to that, but in Genesis uh, chapter uh, 12, yeah verse 6, chapter 12, verse 6. Yeah. It mentions something concerning Abraham. Sure. Genesis 12, yeah, yeah, verse yeah. 6. It mentions concerning Abraham yeah. that at that time, the Canaanites were still in the land. Yeah. So the Canaanites, they were not removed from the promised land until Joshua's armies came yeah. and removed them, which was after the death of Moses. So when in the book of Genesis, the author is saying, and up until that time, the Canaanites were still in the land. This has to be written after the Canaanites were taken out of the land. Genesis 14, 14. It mentions about Abraham, that he took an army to get his nephew back, Lot. And he took the army up until the place of Dan, the place of Dan. The problem is, in the time of Abraham, there was no place called Dan. Dan was in the Northern Kingdom after Joshua took the land. And then each area was named after one of the tribes. You know, Dan, Reuben, Judea. Yeah. So this place was never called Dan in the time of Abraham. There's so many examples in the, in the Old Testament, or sorry, the first five books to show that they were written after Moses, Before, yeah. after Moses, after Moses, after Moses, not by Moses. Yeah. So the problem is when we say, when we base our guidance on these books and we cannot prove that they're from God, we cannot prove, we don't know who wrote them and we cannot prove that they have reached us. Like, you know, the, the Old Testament, you know, the, the earliest documents we have is from the, you know, the Qumran, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls, written maybe 100, 200 years before Jesus. But this is the gap between these scrolls and Moses of over a thousand years. And these are the earliest manuscripts we have. So even the, the New Testament, the four gospels are anonymous books. These names, according to Mark, according to Matthew, according to Luke, according to John, this, according to biblical scholars, 
This was written by Irenaeus, or this was the first person to mention it was Irenaeus, over a hundred years after the Gospels were written. And these Gospels, they were in Greek. Yeah, 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 in Greek. And they were written after Jesus was taken up. So the, the thing is, when we have the Quran, the Quran we say is the last revelation from Allah, from God, yeah. upon the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. The Quran, it was revealed in the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. When he reached the age of 40, he began to receive revelation and he continued receiving revelation until he was 63. This revelation was memorized by himself. And whenever he received revelation, he would call his companions and they would write down what was revealed and they would memorize it themselves. We, ha we have the names of over 65 scribes who used to write down the Quran. And then the Quran was recited daily in the prayers, in the Ramadan prayers. It was practiced daily. And then this continued up until the Prophet Muhammad died. Within the first year of him dying, uh, the first uh, Khalifa, the first Muslim ruler, Abu Bakr, and even though there were companions who had memorized the complete uh, complete Quran and they had learned the Quran directly from the Prophet Muhammad so they heard it from him they gathered the Quran in one book yeah sorry to interrupt I think I think I'll, I'll make some inquiries about yeah to the regards to the Moses I tried yeah. to know the scribes there but I know with Jesus they had some scribes during the reign of Jesus during, during Jesus's reign I think all, all the 27 books of the New Testament yeah. were written after Jesus being taken up yeah the earliest so letters was, were Paul and 13 letters, if you don't include Hebrews, even Hebrews was, some people said it was by Paul, but most scholars say it wasn't. But 13 letters of, of the New Testament are by Paul. The vast, so the, the vast majority, the, the, the most books in the New Testament are written by Paul, who never met Jesus. He claimed a vision of Jesus, but he never walked with him, he never sat with him. He had a revelation of Jesus. He said he did. He had a revelation. He said he did. But then the other so, books. Say when he was going to Damascus. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus had to uh, reveal himself to him. Like, Paul, what are this you is doing? this is what this is what Paul said. Yeah. So he had a revelation. He cannot dispute. But we only have Paul's word. How, how do you know it's true? It was true because of what 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 actually Paul what what God revealed through Paul. So I would say. How do you know it's true? Yeah, the no, see, because the, the, but the, so the earliest books of the New Testament were written by Paul. Apostle Paul was the one who held the garment of the soldier who stoned Stephen, uh -huh. one of the disciples to death. Uh -huh. Apostle Paul was against Christianity. He was a Buddhist. Uh -huh. Apostle no, he was Paul a, he had was, no passion. He was a, a rabbinic Jew. Yeah, yeah. He had no passion in Christianity. Uh -huh. yeah. Why all of a sudden, yeah. Apostle Paul, he had that kind of passion of uh -huh. Christianity. He's trying to preach to uh -huh. Agrippa, the king. Yeah. Agrippa, King Agrippa came to visit uh -huh. the other king. Apostle Paul was preaching, and they were looking at him as a fanatic. At the moment because uh -huh. No one could even. No, no. But I'm, I'm still, I'm still asking. I'm still like, asking. Yeah. Yeah. 13 so letters, like 13 but letters of the New Testament are attributed to Paul. Yeah, but that one Paul was seven, seven of them scholars have agreed they're letters of Paul. Yeah. Six of them, there's discussion. Are they letters of Paul? Are they not letters of Paul? But then the Gospels were written after. Yeah. So, but Paul, he teaches that what I, what I teach is I received it direct from Jesus. Yeah. And I never learned it from any man. Yeah. So the disciples are there. The disciples, they walked with Jesus, they sat with Jesus, they ate with Jesus. But we, but we are more important to give them the letters of Paul. And then the other four Gospels, they're written after the letters of Paul. But we don't know who wrote them. Like for example, if you, if you read the four Gospels, none of them identify the authors. First of all, he actually claimed Christ was revealed through him and not believe Christ was revealed But you believe it based on evidence or you just believe it? Like, do you, do you believe that the Prophet the Muhammad, peace be upon him, received revelation? The books that you wrote, Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, he was like, he was a vessel, he had a purpose. Right, okay. It's a purpose, he had a purpose. Okay. Right. Appointed by God, he chosen a, by God. He had a purpose. But do you believe he was appointed and chosen by God as a messenger? He was a messenger of God okay. to his people, to relate to his people.
he had it yeah, because normally he actually emerged when Haga. Yeah. Haga was left to, were in the wilderness. Haga left Abraham and she was taking the route of the wilderness. Yes. So God stop Haga and uh -huh. go back to your mistress and stay there until no. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what to do. No, she would. No. According to the Bible, yeah. Sarah told so Abraham a, to, to take child, it. Yeah, uh, and a free not one child. Yeah. This is this is this is a, a slur is mentioned. But if you read in Genesis, yeah. Abraham Abraham took Hagar as his wife. Abraham, yes. Hagar was a slave woman. Yeah. She was a slave woman, yeah. and Sarah gave because yeah. she couldn't have children. Yeah. According to the Bible, she yeah. gave Hagar. But as a wife, uh, so Abraham took Hagar to according to the Bible yeah. as a wife, yeah. as a wife, yeah. and then Ismail is, is the firstborn, the oldest son. Yeah. But the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he came from this family family line. Yeah, and the best who came out of yeah. That, yeah. So all the other messengers, yeah. they came from the line of Isaac, but then the last messenger came from the line of Ismail. Yeah. But the thing is, if the Prophet Muhammad upon him, if you recognize him as a messenger, yeah. then you have to recognize what he says is true. Yeah. So if he, he if, if he says something and his book is preserved, memorized generation after generation, like for example in chapter 54, the Quran mentions uh, multi, in four different verses, it mentions we have made the Quran easy to remember. Yeah. So is there anyone who will, will remember it? Yeah. So the Quran has been memorized by hundreds of thousands of people, people yeah, that's a generation thing. after generation after generation. Yeah. And no book has been memorized like this. Yeah. A religious book, a secular book, any other book has not been memorized like this. But, but, sorry, sorry about that. No problem. And then the Hagar was taking the root of the mountain, but Jesus was not. Jesus didn't want Israel to worship in the mountain because the Israel needed the Christ. We all needed the Christ. We are all depending on the price. That's a problem. Let me let me just let me just go towards the mountain to worship. The, the, the problem is if you, to worship in the mountain. But the, the, the problem is if we're comparing two things, we have a book, the New Testament, which is attributed to the teachings of Jesus. But it is a book which hasn't been preserved. And we don't know who many of the authors are. And we can't trace it back to Jesus. Okay? And then we have the Quran, which with the last messenger which has been preserved. Yeah. The Quran mentions in chapter 15, verse 9, yeah. Inna nahnu wa inna Verily, we have sent down the reminder and we will protect it. Here, yeah. the we of majesty. God is saying that, Allah is saying that He sent down this Quran and He will protect it. Yeah. And then we have the Quran, generation after generation after. Like, me, I'm just a normal Muslim, but I, I can show you, I have friends they memorize Quran and they've been given what's called ijazah. Ijazah is when they read the whole Quran to their teacher. And then their, and their teacher has read it to their teacher. And their so they have a chain of the whole Quran of the teacher to the teacher, the teacher to the teacher, back to the companions who heard it from the Prophet Muhammad. This is how the Quran is preserved. So if we have these Yeah, so if we have these two books, it's memorized in writing and in uh, it's preserved in writing and in memorization. If we have these two books, and then they're saying something different, yeah. But to be honest with you, which one do we give preference to? Be with you, there are things, there are things in the Bible that I cannot understand by my ability, and it yeah. takes the grace of God. Sometimes yeah. before I read the Bible, I pray, I pray for an understanding because yeah. some of the things are complex. To be honest, with yeah. You. yeah. But the but the, but the central message should be straightforward. It should be simple. Yeah, there are some things that. Myself, I don't even know how I get to understand it. But the grace of God, uh -huh. I was going to what, understand. What about this message? God is one. Yeah, so worship, him. worship Him it's alone, and follow the messenger sent to you. Like yeah. in the time of Noah, yeah. mankind would have to worship the one true God and follow the teachings of Noah. In yeah. the time of Moses, Noah, yeah. in the time of Moses, worship the one true God and follow the teachings of Moses. Yeah. The same in the time of Abraham. The and in the time of Jesus, you have to worship the one true God and follow the teachings of Jesus. Yeah. And now a final messenger has come. It's upon all mankind to worship the one true God 
believe in the previous message, messengers, yeah. but follow the last messenger. The, the, in, in chapter 3 in Quran, there's a, a verse which has been sent down, which is a challenge. It's a challenge to mankind. It mentions, Qul, in kuntum Allah, fattabi'uni. It says, say. So here the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was commanded by Allah to say to the people, say, if you love Allah, if you love God, because everyone claims to love God, if you love God, then follow me, follow the last messenger, the Prophet Muhammad If you follow him, then Allah will love you and forgive your sins. And he is the, the Ghafoor Rahim, he is the all forgiving, the most merciful. But it's a conditional statement. If you love God, you will follow his messenger. If someone rejects the messenger or refuses to follow the messenger, this claim of loving God is not correct. And once this condition is fulfilled, that you, that you love God, you follow his messenger, the last messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then God will love you and forgive your sins. I love, I love, to be honest with you, I love, I love, I love all of them, but yeah. I look at Jesus in a special way, like, Why do you as say a price. Yeah. I love, I love yeah. him, because he had a purpose, uh -huh. he was there, God actually sent him to his people, yeah? uh -huh. he was a vessel to his people, but I cannot overlook the price. Can someone I, be I forgiven without, kind of can, someone be, can someone be forgiven without Jesus? Yeah. Can someone be forgiven without Jesus? Without Jesus? Yeah. Without, without, or without animal sacrifice. I cannot go up to the mountain. I need to go through Jesus as a problem with it because he's the way, the truth and the light. And no one comes to the Father, the tree. Yes, the messenger of the time. Like, you know Nineveh? You know Jonah? I cannot just go up straight. Up. But you know the prophet, the prophet Jonah? Yeah. He was sent to Nineveh. Yeah. And Nineveh were not from the children of Israel. Yeah. Nineveh, they rejected Jonah's message. Yeah and God was going to punish them. Later on, the people of Nineveh, they repented. And God withheld the punishment and forgave them. Where was the human sacrifice there? Where was the animal sacrifice there? Did Nineveh never, never believed Jesus died for their sins. And they never, and they never, and, and Nineveh never performed sacrifice at you the know, temple during that time yeah. the jews they were looking for signs and there were a lot of people greeks too were coming were looking but, for no, signs. but, but the point is the point is they were there forgiven would be, there would be no sign except uh. that in jonah as he was hurt in the belly of the way for three days and three nights for three nights that's how the son of man will be revealed to us no that's right? how the, as yeah. as jonah was the, the, the sign is very clear yeah, the problem yeah. is the problem is so set a foundation. The cross was like a foundation. The sign will be given is foundation. according to the Bible. Yeah. It's, it's a problem. I'm telling you, it's a problem. But as Jonah was, was in the in the belly of the whale for three really days yeah. and three nights, so, so was, shall the Son of Man yeah. be in the belly yeah. of the earth three for three days and three nights. Yeah. Okay. As a believer in God, as a believer in messengers, yeah. we believe that when a messenger says something, it has to take place as they've said it. If it doesn't, then either that person's not a messenger or someone has falsely attributed a statement to that messenger. Was Jesus in the belly of the earth for three days and three nights? Yeah. Was he? Jesus was not in the was belly. It, he was not, was, it was he. It was he in the belly of the earth, as the prophecy says, for three days and three nights. Or he was, was it in the belly of the Then the prophecy Jesus, is not true. Jesus was in the belly of the earth for three days and three nights. He wasn't, was he? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a metaphor, but I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's one of two things. It's one of two things. Yeah. Either I don't believe this, but I'm going to say it. it's either Jesus. Well, like was, Jesus was a false. Jesus was a false prophet. No, no, I don't believe that. But I'm telling you, when there's a prophecy and it doesn't take place, it means either the person who made the claim is a false prophet, or the person who attributed that statement is lying. I wouldn't say it's a false prophet. I, no, I don't believe. I believe Jesus is a messenger. 
Was it for three? Well, was the he in the belly of the earth for three days and nights? The resurrection yeah. was like. Was it for three days and three nights? Was it for three days and three nights in the belly of the earth? The answer is no. No, no Christian can answer it. You can, you can do gymnastics, you can flip it, but it's, it's a claim in the Bible that didn't come true. Which to me, to me, Hannah was like dead, burial, and resurrection. I mean, it was just like that. Just like the word is clear. The word is clear. He was in the belly of the earth. Yeah. He used Lazarus to like set an example of what he came to do. It just like. I would say it's like death, burial, and resurrection. Okay, yeah. but okay, but then what you've done in order to make it three the days and three nights? Resurrection is like you've been. Even that wasn't three days and three nights. He died on the evening of Friday. Yeah, Saturday. So. Saturday, Sunday. So Friday evening is one Sunday, night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Saturday is one day. Yeah. Saturday night is the second night. Yeah. So night, one Sunday. night, second night. And there's only one day so far, the Saturday day. And then on the Sunday morning, yeah, they say was, that he was resurrected. Yeah. According to the Bible. Yeah, we, the we don't, disciples, when they the Quran, the, 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 the Quran rejects the, the Quran rejects the resurrection. But look, I'm asking you, Friday night, but Saturday night. The Bible night, that to the disciples in the book of the author, the, author so of the, the, the authors of the Bible said that. But look, look, Friday night, Saturday night, Saturday day, Sunday day. This is this is two days and two nights. So the the person who said the person who attributed to Jesus three days and three nights is incorrect. I don't I don't All Jesus. Right, I'll, I'll make an inquiry of that. No time. problem. Okay, sorry. Yusuf. Yusuf, nice to you. Hopefully we continue the current. No problem. I can see your time. Thank you for your time. But to me, but I, think about I it. The price too. That's the okay, thing. thank you. I mean, all the conversation, my tribe. Good.